you already know how this works by now. Tutorial, Titanfall 2 movement, and in this video it's climbing as well as some other smaller fixes. To create climbing, we need a float for the climb speed, bulls for is climbing, can climb and has climbed. And also a climb timer and a max climb timer. Then we need to create a function to check if we are going to climb. Using a ray cost, we're going to check if we are standing next to a wall. We check the angle between the player and the wall and if it is less than 15 degrees and we didn't just climb and we start climbing. If this is not true, stop climbing. Next, create the climb movement. Set the forward direction to up and also increase the X and Z movement by the airspeed. Set the speed to climb speed, set the Y velocity vector to the forward direction and also clamp the move and the Y velocity vectors. In the jump function, set has climbed to false as well as set the timer to max climb timer and also do the same thing if we're on the ground. Now you can continue climbing if you jump or if you touch the ground. In the apply gravity function, set the gravity to zero if you're climbing. Lastly, go to the update function and add the check climbing function. Change the not is grounded statement to include a check if we are not climbing. Also add an else if statement if we are climbing. In here, perform the climb movement. Then reduce the timer by time and if the timer is less than or equal to zero, we stop climbing and also set has climbed to true. In the inspector, set climb speed to 5 and the timer to 1. And you can now climb. A thing I skipped in the last video is wall jumping and for it to really feel like titanfall we also need that. This consists of just moving the character a little bit off of the wall before you give the control back to the player. Add a bull to tell if we are wall jumping and two floats for the timer and the max timer. In exit wall run we set the forward direction to the wall normal, this wall jumping to true and also increase the timer to the max timer. In the air movement function we had a check to see if we are wall jumping and if we are increase the move vector by the forward direction as well as decrease the timer till it hits zero at which point we stop wall jumping. Then for the wall jump timer you can set it to whatever you want but when you are wall jumping you can't really move sideways but I suggest you set it to something really low to just get a slight boost off of the wall. I found this to be the closest to feeling like titanfall 2 movement. Also, in the last video I mentioned that we have too much in-air control. Turns out to fix this, you just lower the airspeed. Uh, yeah. Now the Titanfall movement is pretty much done, but Titanfall is not yet done because we still need, well, Titans, which I am making next, so stick around for that. 